Today I try to make a water bass, ultra sound water bass. And all these three experiments that I did were more or less uh, a failure. But anyway, perhaps it's interesting to show what I did and uh, why it didn't work, etc. etc. The first schematic is this was this um, an oscillator made with a 2N3055. At first, I used for this transistor a BD139, but it was defective within, say, 10 minutes, burned out. So I used a real high voltage transistor. And the reason is, of course, that on the secondary there are high voltage peaks. And because I took the uh, secondary winding uh, to a lot of windings, 150 windings, uh, that also uh, meant that a quite high voltage was sent back to the first transistor of the Darlington. When you want to do such an experiment, uh, make a uh, voltage divider with the help of such a 50k po uh, potentiometer, a 3k tru 3 protective resistor to the positive, etc. etc. Pin connections are here. Simple circuit, and I sticked the um, small tin plate can. This one to the top of these three uh, uh, combined sticked together ferrite rods, and here you see them three ferrite rods uh, hold together by tape, and here are all the windings. And that um, small tin can was sticked at the top, but it didn't work anyway. And here you see the coil again. When I go to the next one, the first setup from the Darlington, the first experiments with that typical strange coil and the second experiment was that um, I soldered a bolt a bolt to that uh, metal can sticked it inside a coil and then sent here in sent into that coil a uh, high frequency signal that coil was driven by a Darlington and that Darlington got its energy out of my square wave generator set to one volt on different frequencies and in that case, uh, you have an other type of circuit. But that was also not very successful. Uh, I want to show the next photo. You see that setup inside here. Some things that I that I tried to um, clean, and I found when I mounted here on the back side a few magnets, uh, I could hear the frequency with which the generator was driven much better. So the final circuit was this. Uh, I used a magnet very strong magnet and wound a coil for that magnet that was a 
rectangular magnet. Perhaps I can make it visible now. Here you can see it a little bit. I don't want that the whole thing falls apart. But, um, and then I sent into that magnet um, via my um, square wave generator a signal. And I found out that with a 22k uh, capacitor, 22 nanofarad, I got the ideal uh, frequency for the uh, water bath. And that's this kind, this kind of frequencies. This frequency is the right frequency for a water bath. Ultrasound water bars 10.3 volts is now given to that circuit and approximately 800 milliampere. And perhaps it's possible, here you see what happens when I change the voltage to that uh, Darlington. The Darlington consisting of a 2 entry of F5 and that high voltage transistor. And here you see the frequency. It doesn't change so much. But in fact, when you listen to the to the bass, I hope it's you can hear it. Here is the typical sound of a um, ultrasonic water bath. But it doesn't function as far as I know. I see bubbles. Uh, normally with such a water bath there has to be cavitation. And I see bubbles but I don't see that these bubbles pop. And that is um, necessary to have the effect of ultrasound in a water bath. So here you can see it perhaps. I see these bubbles. You, you can see these bubbles. Perhaps here the oscillator. But they, they don't pop. So there is no uh, cavitation in my opinion anyway. Though I found that it cleans somewhat. So it's more or less a, f a failure but um, it works in a certain way with a very low energy sent into the water and the transistor here gets very hot. So when we calculate it a little bit uh, say it's approximately 10 watt driven uh, Approximately uh, 5 watts or 6 or 7 watts are uh, dissipated in that uh, transistor Darlington, and approximately 3 watt is available for the ultrasound. As far as you can call this ultrasound, anyway. Only um, um, an experiment to show the principles and uh, of course when you want to make a real water bath you have to send in much more energy and the, better, the best thing is buy such a uh, device. It isn't very expensive nowadays. 30 euros, 40 euros, 50 euros and for laboratories 150 euros or 200 euros anyway. Uh, water baths are normal made, not made with uh, a coil, but made with ceramic um, resonators. And you see here them, a few of them, and they are normally glued to the backside of the the metal uh, bath, and then driven by an oscillator um, that's able 
to drive all these ceramic resonators out to its maximum uh, amplitude. Of course, these are simple buzzers, only uh, an example of how uh, they look like. I've opened uh, a few water bath circuits in the past and I could see on the bottom of the metal, metal uh, can these resonators far much bigger than uh, they are showed here anyway. Perhaps it's uh, interesting for everyone uh, who wants to do experiments with these circuits. Let's pan over somewhat the magnet, 60 turns. This was the capacitor that gave that idiot specific water bath um, ultrasound resonance. When the circuit doesn't oscillate, reverse A and B could be necessary or doesn't work properly, reverse A and B. Here are the pink connections, the input, one volt square wave. Well, that was more or less all to tell. A failed experiment, but learned a lot.